Hi there, I'm Matt from Farming Vocabulary and today we are going to talk about the agricultural trailer. In the first part we will answer a few questions. First, what is a trailer? Second, what is it used for? Third, what are the types of trailers? In the second part we will discuss the construction of the trailer and shortly describe the most important parts. So, here we go! First question, what is a trailer? A trailer is an unpowered vehicle towed by a powered vehicle. It often has the form of rectangular platform with at least two wheels. Second question, what is it used for? The agricultural trailers are commonly used to transport crops, grains, high base, straw base or manure from point A to point B but you can load almost anything on them, it depends on the type of trailer you have. Third question, what are the types of trailers? There are many different types of trailers, so I will mention only those used in agriculture. Ok then, types of trailers. Single axle, tandem axle, triple axle, semi-trailer, semi-trailer with dolly converter, chaser bin or grain car, bay trailer, cattle trailer, low loader, manure spreader, slurry tanker, biomass trailer and the last one our double axle trailer. Ok then, let's talk about the trailer construction. First, the draft bar. The draft bar is the connector between a tractor and the towed load. It's often made of steel beams. Then the draft bar eye. The draft bar eye is this hole at the end of the draft bar and through this hole the hitch pin passes. Next the spring. The spring keeps our draft bar in the right position for easy hitching. Now we have the hydraulic line. The hydraulic line is the hose used to bring oil from the tractor to hydraulic cylinder. At the end of this hose we have ball valve, male type for the trailer and female type for a tractor. Next the air brake lines. The air brake lines are employed by the trailer brakes. Red one, supply line, yellow or blue one, service line. At the end of these lines we have the gland hand connectors. These types of connector specifies that the socket and the plug are identical. Now the electrical line. The electrical line is used by lights or other electrical consumers. At the end the 7 pin plug, it connects the 7 pin socket, this connector is the European type. Here the front wall with extension, the front wall is made of square tubes and sheet metal, this one cannot be opened. Over here and over there the wall locks, two for each wall, you can also call it a lever clamp. It also has the ladder so we can climb up and check our weight for example. Now the front marker lights. The front marker lights show the position of the vehicle edges. They are not intended to light the road ahead of the vehicle like in the case of headlights. Ok, let's look down here. The turntable bearing or trailer ring. The trailer ring is basically a huge bearing. It holds the main frame together with the turntable frame and allows rotation. Then the turntable frame. The turntable frame is this entire part 
to which the trailer ring, the axle and the draft bar are attached. Here we have the wheel. The wheel is this central part. In informal speech it is also called the rim. And the tire. The tire is this outer rubber part which is fitted onto the rim, filled with air or nitrogen. Behind the wheel, the parabolic spring. The parabolic spring, the main part of the trailer suspension, it's a long narrow spring metal composed of at least one layer. Next, the spring brake cylinder. The spring brake cylinder is designed to apply pressure to the trailer's brakes and to release them. The spring brake cylinder is attached to the axle. The axle is the rod connecting a pair of wheels. Over there, the air tank. The air tank holds air at high pressure. There, the parking brake also called the emergency brake. That is the hydraulic cylinder. The hydraulic cylinder is used to raise the upper frame with load box. The downward movement is done by gravity. That's why we only have one hydraulic hose. It's worth to mention that this trailer has three-way tipping system. It means that we can unload the load box on three different sides, in the left, in the right, and backward. Here we also have the wheel chock. The wheel chock put behind the wheel keep the vehicle from rolling. Our trailer has the lower main frame and up here the upper frame with load box. The load box is in many cases a metal container. The fender or the wing. The fender stops mud from sticking to the frame, which could cause corrosion. Here, the rear wall. The rear wall with the small window at the bottom. This moving part is called the slide gate. Down here and there, the rear lights. The rear lights consisting of the brake light, the signal light, the backup light and tail light. Down here the transport hitch, also called the ring feather. The ring feather is an automatic hook device. After the driver eye strikes the hitch, the hitch pin is automatically released. So I think that's all. I know I might have forgotten some words, but I hope you found this lesson helpful anyway. Like and subscribe, Matt from Farming Vocabulary. Bye.